Welcome back everyone, this is Amanda All Day, back with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new line by McFarlane Toys. These are the page punchers. Essentially what they are, it's just, you get a figure and you get a comic book itself. And they do retail for $10 or $9.99 each. So as always, we're going to be taking a look at the figure itself in terms of the articulation, sculpture and paint. As well as the comic, because they do come with a comic. And of course, if it's worth your purchase or not. But before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button to not only to support the channel, but to keep up to date and watch videos like this. So let's take a look at each one. So we'll start off with Superman. So this is the front of the cover looks like of the page punchers. And take a closer look at Superman. There is no side, so there's nothing. The back, this is how the back looks like. Those of you are wondering. And there is no other side as well. The top. All right, you get the DC logo and McFarlane Toys logo. And there's nothing on the bottom. All right, now let's take a look at Flash. And I do apologize for the glare. It's just that these do reflect a lot of glare. So this is how Flash looks like on the front. Sorry. That's what the figure looks like inside. And it comes with Flashpoint, which I really, really dig. Again, no side. The back. No other side. The top, very similar to the Superman. And again, nothing on the bottom. All right, now let's take a look at Black Adam. This is from the Endless Winter. So Flash comes with a Flashpoint. Issue 1, Superman comes with Superman Rebirth, Issue 1, and then Black Adam. As you can see, these are our next two videos I'll be making. And Black Adam comes with the Black Adam Endless Winter Special 1. So this is how the front looks like for Black Adam. Let's take a look at the figure inside. Pretty cool. Again, no sides, but there is a back. The back is... Very, very similar to all of them. Again, there's no other side. The top is very similar to the other ones. And no bottom. And last but not least, so we have here Superwoman and Drift. It's going to be my next videos after this one. So we got Batman. This is how Batman looks like at the front. And this is uh, Jeff Loeb, Batman issue 608. That's how Batman looks like. And again, don't worry, we'll, look, we'll take a look at the figure itself outside. And let's take a look at the back. All right. So that's all for the brand new page punchers. Now let's take a look at each one in terms of the figure itself and the issues of the comic. All right, let's take a look at each one individually. So we'll start off with Superman. So Superman does come with Rebirth Superman Volume 1. And it does come with the figure. The cool thing, they do come out like this. So all you do is just pop them out. Pretty simple to pop out. And that's it. So you can always put it back. You can always put it back in here if you want to, you know, have it as a collector. Now let's take a look at the figure itself. So the, this is how the front of the figure looks like. I'm trying to get it to zoom in. There you go. So the head scope is actually pretty cool. It's nothing too crazy, but it looks good. It looks clean. It's nothing bad or anything like that. Articulation is, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, I don't think there's any at all. But again, it, head sculpture looks pretty good. There you go. There you go. Is it bad? No. Is it amazing? No. It's just there. It looks clean. Now let's take a look at the shoulder articulation. So there is. Some, and I do apologize, my camera is not picking it up. Come on camera, pick it up. There you go. So there is some shoulder articulation. Elbows, there's none. Wrists, there's none. It's all one solid piece. Torso, there's, again, there's nothing. And then legs, they do articulate, as you can see right there. It's Mine's pretty stiff, so I have to warm it up a little bit if I wanted to get it loosened up, but... Overall, very clean, very simple, tiny, tiny uh, figure, if you want to call it, or statue, or however you want to call it, but the miniature, uh, whatever. It is what it is. But overall, it looks clean. I mean, it's not a bad, bad figure. It's nothing horrible. It's just they're very, very small. I mean, they look kind of cool. Now, these are worth 10 bucks. So for 10 bucks, you get this. 
and you do get a comic. So, in terms of Superman itself, I would say Superman looks good, head, the head sculpture is good. Well, I will advise though is this, you have to make sure you look at each one because there are some that the paint job and the sculpt design is not good. So keep that in mind. So if you're planning to get the page punchers, make sure you look at the figure or the miniature that's inside because this one was the best one that I saw at Target that had, there was three of the Supermans. This is the best one that I saw there. Other ones had the eyebrows were overdraft a little bit to the side. The head sculpture was a little bit painting with a little bit of a skin color. So again, you have to be careful with this. It's unfortunate. It, it is what it is, but you have to keep an eye on that. Now let's take a look at the actual comic itself. Now I can't say if this is actual full comic, meaning it's the first issue, the full thing or just half. I've never read the Superman Rebirth by Tomasi. So, but I gotta say though, the actual comic itself looks pretty cool, man. Like I like this actual gloss to it on the comic it's not some kind of cheap kind of like the, what they're doing right now with the new comics where it's all kind of like all oh, cheap materials not very really shiny and glossy as you can see it's actually pretty good quality and it looks cool man again i've not read this so i'm not familiar with it so i can't tell you if it's good or not or oh, it's the full issue one and what i mean about full issue one is i was concerned that this is this is going to do is they were going to do issue one, but they were going to cut it in half, so to speak, where instead of giving you the full issue one of Superman Rebirth, they were going to give you half of it. That way you can get the other half with another page puncher. So I can't tell you on Superman if that's going to do or not. But when it comes to the Flash, I'll know because I read the Flash story. But anyways, in terms of the comic itself, it's actually pretty good, man. I really dig the comic. The quality of the actual comic is very, very good. And the cool thing about this, though, is that you can actually give it to a kid and get him into comics. And I think that's what McFarlane wanted to do is just kind of introduce kids with having a cool little toy, but also getting a cool comic, getting him reading into comics. And I think, I think he nailed it. And for me, for Superman, again, I like it. I dig it. I think this is a cool little miniature. And the cool thing is you can take him out, read the comic. And once you're done, you want to hang it on your wall, put it back inside there with the figure and boom, you're good to go. All right, now let's take a look at Flash. All right, let's take a look at Flash now. So Flash comes with the Flashpoint issue one, and it does come with the toy itself. So again, you could just similar to Superman, you can take it out like this and just kind of press it in the back to pop it out, and there you go. So Flash, let's take a look at Flash. Look at the head sculpture here. I'm gonna try to pick it up. Head sculpture, it's cool, simple design. The paint is okay. Nothing too crazy on the paint. It looks clean. Yeah, it's a little bit messy, like I see, like I said right there. See right here? It's a bit messy. Very similar to what I said with Superman. You kind of have to, if you're interested in these, and if you are going to kind of be a collector and keep, keep them in the box, make sure you look at each one, because some of them will look clean. Others will look sort of similar to this, where it's kind of, the paint is a bit dripping. See that right there? So it's unfortunate, but it's not a bad thing or anything. And for the price they're paying for 10 bucks. You can't really complain. So, overall, head sculpture is good. Very similar to Superman. The head doesn't... It looks like it might, but I don't want to break it because it's pretty stiff. And, yeah. So, shoulder articulation. Good. Of course, no elbows. No wrist. Right? There's a Flash logo. There's the back. All right. Boom. Looks clean, man. And again, legs to articulate. So overall, in terms of the articulation, paint, and sculpture, I think it's cool. It's nothing too crazy. I mean, no offense, but if anyone's complaining about, oh my God, it doesn't look accurate or the paint's not good, you got to take consideration. These are 10 bucks. Come on, for 10 bucks, for $9.99, you know, you can get a perfect, perfect statue or design, sculpture, and paint on a $10 figure that includes a little figure, miniature, and a comic. So for the price, I think it looks cool. And I'll show you guys what I, what you could do towards the end of the video with it, with the packaging that makes it even look, look even better. But overall, cool statue. I dig the statue or miniature, not statue, miniature figure, however you want to call it. The only downside is, like I said, the paint are here on, on that. Now let's take a look at Flash. 
the comic book. It comes with Flashpoint issue one. Very what I said earlier in terms of the Superman, where I was concerned if they're gonna be kind of cutting corners in terms of giving you half the first issue. And I can confirm with Flashpoint, it does not because it ends off with well, a bit of a spoiler, sort of. So spoiler, if you've been warned, if you've not read Flashpoint, spoiler on issue one. So spoiler alert on three, two, one, spoiler. So it does issue with finish with issue one. Of course, that is Thomas Wayne. If you've read Flashpoint, sorry, you know what I'm referring to. But it does end with the issue one, life like this, very similar to the comic. So it does include the full comic. All right. Now, again, very similar to the Superman comic. The pages are very good, very detailed, very bright and vibrant colors. And I dig it, man. I think this is very, very cool. And I do like the design. Sorry. There you go. I dig it, man. I think McFarlane is doing a fantastic job. He knows what he's doing. And in terms of including a comic book and maybe issue one or just one comic with a little miniature, I think it's cool and I dig it. And so overall, this story is very good. And overall, I got to say for Flash, so page punchers, definitely a must buy. The story on the Flashpoint is fantastic. The Flashpoint story is really, really, really good and interesting. In terms of the figure itself, it's cool. Again, similar to the actual comic. And unfortunately, the paint dripping a little bit there. But other than that, cool little package here, the page punchers. And I would say Flash, 100% recommend it. Now, let's take a look at Black Adam. All right, now let's take a look at Black Adam. It does come with Black Adam, the Endless Winter Special One. And it does come with the little figure. Or statue, whatever you want to call it, miniature statue. So let's take a look at Black Adam. So this is how Black Adam looks like. The head sculpture is okay. My camera can pick it up. It looks okay. It looks like it has that eyebrow. And overall, the paint and sculpture on this, and I do apologize for the camera being very... Doesn't want to play along with me today. But in terms of the head sculpture, it's okay. Nothing too crazy. The hair design is not good. It looks just one slick piece. That's unfortunate, but it's all good. Shoulders, again, they do articulate very, very, very minimal. Legs are much better articulation. They're not as stiff as the other two figures or statues, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm referring to. Cape design is cool. I do like the cape. I dig the cape. It's really, really cool. The paint's good. It's nothing too crazy. I do like the sculpture design here on the legs. On his chest here too. The legs. Chest here. Overall, cool little design on the sculpture. And I dig it. I do. I like it. The only downside is the head just looks kind of bland and cheap. It's not bad. It is very similar to the comic. So you can see right here. In terms of the head. So you can kind of get the idea where they got the sculpture design for. So it's not bad. It's just the way they was executed in terms of the actual statue or miniature. It's not very... Eh, it's nothing too crazy. There is some design here on the wrist too, which is kind of cool. See that right there? And again, the paint job isn't the greatest too. You can see a little bit of smear. But again, for 10 bucks, not too bad. But if you're going to be a hardcore collector, like I previously said, make sure you look at the box before you purchase it. Because you can tell some of them are pretty bad. Some of them are okay. And some are perfect. And you have to kind of fortunately find the perfect one. So let's take a look at Endless winter special one and again page quality i mean the page quality on these comics is very very good man it has that gloss to it which i really dig and if you've not read endless winter it's a cool story it ends abruptly i do like frost king i didn't make a video on the builder figure a builder figure so if you saw the figure saw the uh the figure the builder figure frost king and you don't know much about it or you want to know more about it there he is right here you can definitely read this comic. I'll link it in the description or in the card regarding the Builder Figure wave that I that I bought and made, and you can see, see for yourself. But overall, there he is, Frost King, right here. Overall, the comic is good. The story is actually cool and interesting. It does end abruptly, and it kind of ends with I don't want to say too much, but I'll just say the ending is could have been better. I understand why they ended the way you did, but again, it could have ended in a lot better to where the build up would have been paid off. It's not bad, it's just kind of, eh. 
it's, it's like you, you want more to it. But overall, I gotta say the quality of this comedy is good. The page, again, I know I'm emphasizing on the pages because you would think for 10 bucks, he was gonna, McFarlane was gonna cop out and cheap out and give you like a cheap, that cheap material that a lot of comics are doing nowadays for five for five bucks. And it's not, it's good quality paper, man. I, I dig it. I dig it. And if, again, if you've not read this comic, this story, in this winter, definitely recommend it. It's a pretty cool quarry, but sorry, but like I said, ending's kind of, yeah. So overall, for Black Adam, if he, is he worth it? I would say yes. The story is good. The, the statue is okay. It's not bad. It's not good. But it's a cool, cool, cool story. And I do like how this little figure here, miniature, kind of represents the, the actual comic cover. And I dig it. And I would recommend it. Now on to the final one, which is Batman. All right, now let's take a look at the final one. It's going to be obviously Batman. So it does come with Batman uh, issue 608. And it does come with a little statue. As always, comes with a little packet. All you do is just pop it out like so. And it comes out very easily. So let's take a look at Batman. The head sculpture. The head sculpture, it looks okay. I do like the teeth there. The head sculpture is cool. I do like the eyes. Nothing too crazy. It is very plain and simple. It's unfortunate, but again, you got to keep in mind the price of $9.99. So it is what it is. So head sculpture looks cool. Shoulder articulation. Good. Better than the other ones. Leg articulation. Better than the other ones. The cape looks really good. You can tell that this one, they spent a lot more time compared to the other ones because there's a lot more detail in Batman and let's face it, Batman does sell a lot more than Superman and Flash. I know, I think I just offended a lot of people, but these are the facts. But regardless, though, cool, cool, cool miniature. This is probably going to be the the number one seller. Look at that cape; it looks really cool, man. Even the bag looks cool. So the paint is is fairly good for the one I got. And I say the one I got because I previously said it already, and I'm gonna say it again. You have to look at each one. I'm emphasizing it a lot because. If you are a collector, you're going to have to make sure because some of these are pretty bad painted. Others are good. This one's probably the best one that I got at from the punch page punches at Target. You can see that mouth. Some of the paint is on the tongue. So it's not the best paint, but again, for $10, you can't really complain. Let me see those torso articulation. I didn't even notice that in the other ones. I think there might be. Yeah, there is torso articulation. Sorry. So... That was my mistake. I did not notice that in the other one. So there is some torso articulation. So keep that in mind. Overall, in terms of this one, I got to say it looks really cool, man. I dig it. This is probably the best one out of all four of them. This is the best one. It's a lot more detail even in the utility belt. And for such a small little miniature figure and for the price, I think overall this is very, very, very cool. And I dig it. And I highly recommend this one. Now let's take a look at the comic itself. And yes, this is a fantastic, fantastic story. This is by Jeff Loeb and the art with Jim Lee. And this is, this is like an amazing story. If you don't know what the story is, this essentially is a hush story. And so you get art by Jim Lee and the art is fantastic. Well, there's Catwoman right there. She does not lick, skip leg days or squats. It is fantastic story. If you've not read the Jim, the hush story, Highly, 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 highly recommend it. Yes, I'm praising it a lot because it is that good, man. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. And this is the first issue of it. So you can get the full, kind of the first story of it. And you get the kind of understanding how the, the writing is, the story, and so forth. And fantastic story. The comic art is really good. Again, the paid quality is very good. For 10 bucks that you get a comic and a little miniature figure. And I think it's for 10 bucks, you get a comic and a little Mitch figure. And if it's this detail, I think it's worth it. And yes, 100%, I highly recommend Batman for the page punchers. Now, this is the last one. Um, the next portion of the video, I'm going to compare the size compared to this middle Mitch figure to some other figures in the line. Of course, to McFarlane. A little tip on terms of how it makes this look a little better if you want to display it. And of course, give you my honest opinion if they're worth your purchase or not. All right, now let's take a look at some size comparisons. So we'll utilize Superman here. So with Superman, if I can take him out. 
All right. So there he is right there. All right. So got him right here. But for comparisons, we're going to compare the size of this little brand new one to, if it doesn't fall, a Spin Master. If you don't know familiar with Spin Masters, I'm sure if you are a McFarlane DC Multiverse collector, you've seen these Spin Masters before. These little figures right here, these are worth about like maybe eight bucks or so, give or take. Sometimes they're on sale. I got this one for four bucks on Target because they had a clearance. So for four bucks, I think they're pretty cool if you like that. But again, this is just size comparison. You can see for yourself the sizes. So this is obviously the Page Punchers and this is the Spin Masters. I'm not too sure the sizes of each one. So it is what it is. But again, if you guys were wondering how is it compared in terms of sizing, again, Page Punchers, Spin Master one. Now, I couldn't find my Superman McFarlane one, but I figured I'll bring another figure so you guys can see comparisons. So this is a regular McFarlane Deathstroke 7-inch figure, Spin Master, and Page Rangers. So I'll leave it there for you guys to see the size comparisons. So if you're wondering, again, is it worth your purchase? How does it look? How does it compare in size? Well, there you go. So if you want to go to your local Target and they don't have the Page Punchers just yet, well, as you can look at a Spin Master and kind of tell it, okay, it's almost about the, the same size in terms of the chest. There we go. Let's do that. Maybe that will help out. There you go. So in terms of the page punches are the same height as lower chest of a Spin Master little figure. And of course, for a McFarlane one, it's going to be <laughs> the kneecap, essentially. The kneecap of a regular 7-inch figure. So again, it's just a size comparison. Now, a little tip you can do is for these, I know some people are going to display it. The cool thing is you can actually remove this, the portion over here that says page puncher, or you can actually hide it. So that way you get a full display of the comics. So I'll show you what I mean. So this portion here, this stuff right here, sorry for the glare. You can actually remove it or you can leave it in there, just push it back. And then if you want, boom. So you get a cool, you could probably just heat this up and kind of remove it. That way you can see the full image of the comic. That way you can also, sorry, put the figure, there you go. There you go, much better. As opposed to looking something like, oh, let me remove the other figures. Nope. Unless, instead of seeing all this with the figure, the, the sticker, again, you can remove it. And the page punchers, logo, and all that stuff, you can actually move it in the back. See, right here? I just move it to the back. That way, you get the full image of the comic, and you get the actual little miniature or figure. That resembles to the comic cover and I think that's very very cool and of course you can remove this so now the main question are these worth your purchase should you go out and purchase the new page punchers I would say yes and no no I'll say the no one no because let's be honest the, the miniature is it is small look I won't be honest it's small I wish they were a bit taller but unfortunately they're not it is what it is Number two, some of the paint on the miniatures, it, it varies. Again, Superman is probably the best one that I saw. Same with Flat. Obviously, you saw in the video, my Batman, some of the tongue, the paint is not that great. Obviously, you saw it on Flash, the paint's not that great. It's not horrible, but it's something to be aware of. So, meaning you have to take a look at each one at the storage to make sure you get the best version of that little min miniature figure. That's kind of a downside. So essentially the QC issues. Other than that, the upside of it is very cool. For 10 bucks, you get a full comic and you get a minifigure that resembles the cover of that issue or the comic. And I think that is a fantastic deal. Now the plus side is, maybe this is kind of more like in the future. If Mayfron is going to continue this line, I would recommend do the full comic story and then each issue that comes with it you include a different figure for that cover issue. So for instance, we got the Flashpoint here. Maybe Flashpoint issue two, you can include maybe a Thomas Wayne story or Thomas Wayne or maybe Superman. Issue three will be, you know, reverse Flash or something, whatever. 
if if McFarlane is considering doing that, I think that's going to be the main selling point. The fact that he's going to continue telling you all these stories, going to include all, it's going to basically complete all the story for each issue, for each story, and include a different figure in that line. I think that's a good idea. And if he does decide to do that, I think these are going to be a must buy, in my opinion. But if he's just going to do randomly, I don't think that's, it's cool, but uh, I wish he did the full story. That's just me. But what I recommend him, I would say yes. For kids, these are perfect. You get a little figure and you get a comic and you get them to start reading and getting into comics. And I think for 10 bucks, an amazing deal. These are small. Be aware of it. So if you have a child that likes to chew on things, keep an eye out. But for the most part, for 10 bucks, I think they're a fantastic deal in my opinion. Now for us adult collectors, are these worth it? That really depends on you. If you're a hardcore collector and you like to display things, I think having them display like this, like this, very, very cool. Just remove this and it looks cool. You get a statue or miniature with the comic. I dig it. If not, don't worry for us collectors that are more mature or adult or older age, I should say. There is coming for another line that's going to include an actual 7-inch figure that's going to resemble in terms of the height to this. And a comic. So if you don't want to get this, if you want to wait, you can definitely wait. And I'm piling it in getting those two. So overall, I think I like these. I am digging it. My suggestion, McFarlane, again, if you're watching this, make sure, hopefully you can do the full story of Flashpoint, Endless Winter, Superman Rebirth. I don't know what story it is. I'm not read it. And of course, finish the story with Superman. And if you include page punchers for issues two or 609, 10, 11, and so forth, and different figure, different cover that's within the story i think you got you have something here and you're probably going to make these go sell out pretty quickly in my opinion but that's if mcfarland does that if not eh, we'll see but overall that includes an overview of the brand new page puncher by mcfarland toys again you got black adam flash superman and batman so let me know what you guys think you guys planning on getting these new page punchers did you purchase them already or are you still kind of contemplating it and if so What's holding you back? Leave it in the comment section below. As always, make sure you hit the subscribe button to not only put the support channel, but to keep up to date and watch videos like this. So that includes an overview of the brand new page punches by Todd McFarlane and on to the next one.